stubborn people. You have not given your hearts What makes a man believe in a god? An unstable mind. An unstable mind which leads to an unstable world. You will find a way. The 22nd century has no place for blind faith. Where are you heading, friend? Damascus, stranger. Looks like we're heading in the same direction. Does it? You know the way? Yeah. I know the way. My wife would kill me if she uh, knew I was picking up just random strangers. But, uh, I had a feeling, you know? I mean, it's not like you're a thug. You're definitely not a theist. You think you know a theist when you see one? Oh, yeah? They're all the same, aren't they? <laughs> Short haircuts, waving their Bibles around, spreading the love. Belief in a deity corrupts the authority of the state. You'd do well to take it more seriously. Um, I take it seriously. Enough people have given their lives for it to be taken seriously. It's funny though, a murderer and a man of God, a theist, are punished in very similar ways. But a murderer destroys life, where a theist, well, a theist preaches life. They're both polar opposites, but they're punished in exactly the same way. A murderer can take a life. But a theist corrupts and terrorizes the lives of many. I don't know, man, woman or child, that wouldn't rather a theist turn up at their door than a murderer. <sighs> How far? Do you have a navigator? A navigator? This is a car, not a cruiser. I could probably work it out though for you.
What now? You've been identified as a theist and therefore a threat to the stability of the state. Now I must act. Open your eyes, lawman. You deny blind faith, but have you ever had an original thought? Every man must decide, is there a God? It's kind of a big deal. I will not let you bring any more disorder. I'll take you to Damascus where you'll stand for your crimes. The state will try to convince me that God is merely a construct of my imagination and one that brings only disorder. Where's the disorder? I can look to the east every morning and know that I will see the sunrise. And when it does, it will throw the earth into a beautiful array of colors. I can look to the sky on a clear night and see the stars and the moon. It's by those stars that I know that God is real. It's by those stars by the sunrise, by the earth we stand on, that every man can know that God is real. I can't prove to you that God is real. I can only tell you what I know in my heart to be true, that God is real and that knowing him is knowing freedom that he sent his son here to die. His death you can be thankful for. So it broke down the wall between you and God. Jesus didn't stay dead. He lives on and so do we. We that believe in him. That's why we don't fear death like you do. A life like no other on earth comes from accepting this truth into your heart. I can go on. I can take you to others that will show you more. But you have a choice to make.